In this video guys, we are going from Soul Reaper to Ichigo Kurosaki in Peroxide Roblox. To do this, first of all, we need to become a Soul Reaper and get the legendary Kurosaki clan. Once we've got the clan, we need to level up to level 15 to be able to unlock our Shikai. Once we've unlocked our Shikai, we need to get to level 85 so we can fight the Bankai boss to unlock the Bankai. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Peroxide, we are at level 1 and the first thing that we need to do is go and become a Soul Reaper. So if I press this number 1 button, it shows me the area to become a Soul Reaper so we go and talk to that guy with he's located right there. The clan that we require is a legendary clan so it is going to be kind of difficult to get so once we become a soul reaper i'm pretty sure we have the option to press on this robux thing here and start spinning for the clan if i'm not mistaken this is basically my first time playing this game so i'm kind of gonna be a little bit just uh, just a little bit noobish in it but yeah okay so yurahara um i would like to become a soul reaper dot 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 and just like that it was just that easy to become a soul reaper and for some reason, I am glitched. Glitched on top of this house. Okay, we have became our soul reaper. And we actually look gangster right now. Is there something here we can pick up? Okay, we can't pick this up. But now if we press on this, yeah, we can start re-rolling our clans. All right, so our clan right now is Uzumaki, which is a common, which is trash, basically. So we've just got to go and start rolling clans. I'm pretty sure there's some codes in this game and stuff. So we're going to use the codes to start off with. Alright guys, so we are back and it uh, turns out there's no actually working code so I decided to do some AFK and get some of those uh, product essences. So now we're going to talk to Yurahara and I can... Okay, I'd like to spend my product essences. Okay, you have 9 product essences. What would you like to general tab or specific tab? Alright, okay, let's check the general tab. Okay, we get clan rerolls, name rerolls, face rerolls, hair rerolls, weapon rerolls. Spend half of them first. Okay, and... We spent half of them. How many rerolls do we get from half of them? Okay, we got four. Every clan reroll is one product essence, so we need to get legendary clan. Come on. Okay, Kuroko. What's Kuroko? That's that's literally a common Mikazuki. Okay, bro, what are these, bro? And Kuroko again, three Kurokos. What's going on? Uh, we want to spend our general tab. All of them. Yes, sir. Okay, we got five now. Saru. Z okay, we got Zarake. Okay, which we do not want. It's, it's also a legendary clan, which is, you know, good, but we do not want Zarake, you know, and Hayanami. We got scammed. No, we didn't get the clan that we wanted. Zarake is a oh, really, really good clan. It's just not the clan that we wanted. So I'm going to, like, load up, like, 500 Robux into the account and just... We have five spins with that, and I'm hoping we do get the legendary clan that we need. All right, the first clan reroll with Robux. Come on, game. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the clan that I want. Okay, Hayanami. Come on. Come on, game, please, bro. Just give me the clan. Uzumaki, bro. We ain't no Naruto, bro. Just give me the clan. Okay, and... Okay, we've got one... I think it's a one spin left. We've got two spins left. And I think we're definitely gonna get shafted here. I cannot lie. Uzumaki and the last and final one. We got Uzumaki twice in a row, bro. Our look is horrendous. All right, another 500 is loaded in. And Ken, okay, we're going to do it quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, Lee, but what are these clans, bro? I'm pretty sure they're literally most of it. Like, I think that's Rock Lee. That's Naruto. All of them are just useless. Okay, Akashi, nope. We don't want that. And come on, two spins left. There should, to be honest, there should be a clan pity here. Shen and the last one. There should be a clan pity, but I don't think we're going to get one. Come on, the last one. I can again, bro. What's our look? We're going to skip on spinning until we get one legendary at least. Bro, we we'll keep on getting shafted so bad that we did get a rare clan. But that's not the clan that we won. And finally, we got Kurosaki. Okay, that is actually perfect. That is perfecto. Okay, all right. Now that we've got Kurosaki, we can finally progress with the video. Okay, the first thing that we need to do to get our... Well, first of all, we're going to awaken our Shikai, I'm pretty sure it is. Which is level 15 where we can fight our inner soul. I think that's how it goes. But, okay, what level are we? We're level 1. So, the things that we're going to do... So, let me just remove this. We're going to have to do these, like, quests and missions to actually get XP, basically. So, this gives 55 XP. This gives 8. This gives 30. And you, so on and so forth. Deliver package and stuff like that. We'll actually try out the deliver package first. Okay, deliver package. 
and it tells us where to deliver the package which is super super convenient so we just got to go all the way over there to deliver the package and once we do we get some xp all right once we do deliver this package there's also a timer so we're like okay we already got to level two from that one quest so there is a timer so we've got to complete it in a specific amount of time that got us a decent amount of levels i think however killing hollows is probably gonna be the better way of getting levels until we are level 15 of course all right what other quests do we have okay we need the ones with the more xp kill a red eye okay we're gonna see how powerful a red eye is okay there's one that's 1200 meters away i guess red eye has disappeared some of these went to kill him so we gotta go and cancel the quest right okay what have you got in store for me deliver package kill red eye there's so many kill red eyes okay we're gonna try and kill the three hollows here there's okay they tell us where they've spawned which is perfectly somebody's already killed that one over there so the other closest one is 800 meters away which we're gonna go to him first all right the first hollow that we're gonna kill and we'll see how strong they are okay they're not that strong. i don't know but to be honest they've not even hit us once and they have hit us now forgot every single combo that i did in the guide so this is kind of gonna be difficult we need to get used to everything okay the first to be honest these guys are not that strong actually okay if we just get the first m1 off they're not able to hit us at all which is very 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 useful and we've already killed one person and we got some new skills available we have 277 seconds left to kill two more which is kind of stressful this time i think they should have done it just to give us a little bit more time actually there's one more person here which we can go and kill now with the skills okay getsuga tensho cyclone and think we're gonna get this one here of course and okay we need to okay there's one person there that we need to go to finally found one but it took us so so long and we have literally 27 seconds to kill them so we gotta be very 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 quick to kill them okay that move does so much damage okay bro that gets to go tensho does so much damage okay we gotta kill them super super quick okay we've got 15 seconds i think we have time i'm hoping we do have time yep we do and okay there we go finally and we got to level five from just doing that one kill that one mission basically got us to level 5 which is a very very good so i'm just going to be spamming these missions until we get to level 15 so we can first of all unlock our shikai and yeah i'll see you guys then all right guys we've managed to get to level 15 which means now we can if we press as the n we press the n we can meditate and then with the meditation we can get our shikai the first thing that we need to do is collect i think it's 160 of these orbs here so let me just collect one yep we need 160 of these so we've collected two so this is going to be extremely, extremely long. So I'm just going to be collecting all of these orbs first. And I will see you guys once we have the amount that we need. All right, guys, and just like that, we apparently already done it. That was really, really quick to do. And I forgot what it said there, but let me just check the channel first because I just skipped over the whole writing. Let's try and aim who's as civilized as you. I'm guessing I don't know who we're going to fight. I think it's those pe I don't know what they're called, but those people that like run around us. It's not these guys, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's these guys here. All right, turns out we're not actually meant to kill the Shinigami yet. We're meant to kill one of the NPCs that are spawned right here. So we're going to do that. We're going to just lock on to one person. Because if we do to way more than one person, they've they've got a Shikai here. So we've got to be extremely careful. And for some reason, I can't even hit. There we go. We're just going to have to hit them, bro. What? This guy is so strong and we are lagging. So just it's going to make it like 10 times more difficult. I don't even, I can't even hit for some reason. Bro, look, I'm literally like stuck. Okay, there's, are there two of them? Oh my God, there's two. We do not want to fight two, bro. We just want to fight one at a time. What is happening? Oh my god, we're getting absolutely destroyed. With we can only we only want to fight one at a time. I don't know why the other Chun Li guy is coming to me. There's oh my god, there's three of them. All right, perfect. He teleports to us again, so we're just gonna hit him. He's keep, just gonna keep on teleporting it to us. I'm hoping. And every time he teleports, we'll just kill him because there's so many people here. We can't even go down and fight him like one v one because I'm just gonna get jumped by another like three, four people. Okay, let me see. Am I going to get jumped by anyone else? Because if I fight him 1v1, I can easily take him. And there's literally another person here. I don't know why we just keep on getting jumped by so many of them. All right, for some reason, now we're back here. And I don't know why we are back here. I think we're going to meant to get some more orbs. I pressed N again. And for some reason, we are meant to get... I think I might 
get more orbs, I'm pretty sure. So we're just going to keep on gathering these orbs over and over again. I think we accidentally killed one of them. I don't know how. I'm pretty sure the person that we made really, really low died and then they got finished. So I think now more of these orbs and then afterwards kill someone else. Now it's another one. Break the barrier. Kill a powerful hollow. And those are the powerful hollows are the ones that like basically... The ones that I showed you before when I was hitting them, the people that can do like the flash step and everything. We can't find them here, but we can find them in the other city, but they are a lot rare and there's another place that we can find them in, which we are going to go to. It's like a snow biome-ish and I will see you guys once we are there because we need to kill and find one. Alright, so the way to teleport is we can find this guy behind Kisuke's house and once we do find this guy behind Kisuke's house, we can actually go to Hueco Mundo. So, Hueco Mundo here. Oh, open a portal to Meta. Oh, we're going to go here. However, how much money have we got? We have 121. So, we got to get some money by like doing these missions and stuff. And once we do have 200, I will see you guys then. We've gathered enough to go to Hueco Mundo. So, we're going to go there. And, okay, open portal. Very well, it has been opened. Good luck, you will need it okay we need to kill only one of them if i'm not mistaken so we just gotta go there and just kill one if it, i don't know how hard it is but i'm hoping it is kind of easy we are level 15 so we gotta be very very careful yep and it's these guys 100 percent. oh my god they do i don't even know if i can even hit them oh i can but they oh i don't i do basically no damage to them hit them with every single move oh my god this guy got so much hp all right we're doing a decent amount of damage to him but I don't know how much HP he has left because for some reason I can't really hit him. Oh, and he's done an uppercut and he is dead. Okay, he didn't drop anything, but we press N. We've killed a powerful hollow and that is perfect. Okay, and now we talk to our inner self and I think this is where we fight. It's just like the boss fight. I'm pretty sure speak to who are you? What is this place? I'd like to see the list of my abilities block again. Okay, right, I'm going to unbind this one. I'm going to bind this one because we can have three skills at the same time and then how do we okay i want to go back now all right okay we're fighting him now we're fighting our own guy this is gonna be very very this is how we get a shikai basically and he is very very strong he's basically got the same abilities as us plus he's got the shikai abilities okay we just gotta do as much damage as possible to him and not die basically okay we missed that <laughs> we missed that shot badly we just gotta be stronger than him basically dodge dodge and weave dodge and weave okay we've died against our boss once okay so this guy is very very strong so we're just gonna have to keep on repeating it until we kill him i think Alright guys, and as you've seen there, we finally completed and finally killed our own boss in our dimension. This took so, so long. That's why we are level 36 right now, because I had to level up and get stronger. And we also about to limit break too. But yeah, I also had to get our stats up and everything because I was struggling so, so, so much against that boss. But once I got to level like 36, he was kind of easy. And if you notice right now, this is a new map yep we are in a new map this is actually my first time going in the new map too but if we press on here where is yurahara's house okay this is the normal place so i'm guessing oh never mind oh this is yurahara's house okay okay let me just go and talk to him we can kill him here so we can get some more stuff okay i want to fight to train me and with that we can train all of our vitality however before we do any of that let me just press g and we've limit broke and now our combat stats let's use stats and agility stats are unmaxed and once we max them we can limit break a limit break again we are rank c right now but before we do all of that i want to show you guys the shikai we have the wind shikai of course because when we're fighting our boss he was using the wind moves but if we can find any hollow here that we can kill once we can find a hollow after we hit him he will be able to hit us and then our bar will start going up and this map is actually looking amazing oh my god yeah this map looks crispy Oh, there's, there's a McDonald's here, Sickles Chicken, okay. This is, actually, this is actually a really, really nice map. I really, really like this. Oh, and now they don't hit you until you've actually targeted them, which is actually a really, really nice. want to get to at least 20%, because once you get to 20%, you can actually 
do your Shikai Awaken your Shikai. So let me just hit him. All right, we got to 37%. And now if we press G, look at this, bro. That looks so, so, so cool. However, as you can realize right now, we do not have Ichigo's sword. And they've added a code. I don't know if it gives product essences or anything. So let me just test out the code. Because if it does, like, use product essences, we can use them to get the Shikai reroll and once we get the Shikai reroll we reroll our sword at the same time. Okay we used the code and it gave us 20 product essences which is amazing and now we gotta go back to Yurahara and once we go back to him we can actually redeem them for the Shikai rerolls. All right Yurahara what have you got in store for me and I would like to spend my specific tab Shikai element reroll. Okay, how much is that? How many Shikai rerolls do we get from just one predict essence? I accidentally used the Shikai element reroll. Okay, I'm so so dumb. I need to see the normal Shikai reroll. Thing is, I don't know what it is until we got 20%. Okay, so we've got to go and find another holo. So we're actually going to buy like a few of them and then so we can like just keep on testing it every time. So I'd like to spend my specific tab and. Okay, cosmetic reroll. Now we have like 16 thingy product essences, which is amazing. So we just gotta find one hollow so we can fight him, get our counter all the way up, and then with that, we can actually start testing out our different different things because we definitely need Ichigo so that's actually basically the most important thing. Right, okay, we got to 43%. And if we use this, what sword do we have? Okay, it's not the sword that we want, so we're just gonna do it really, really quick. Okay, that's not the sword. No way we don't get Ichigo sword in 12 spins. Okay, and there we go. We've got Ichigo's sword there, which is amazing. We do need to change the handle. However, the way to change the handle is, I think it's the Retsuya color reroll, but which we are going to go and do. But look at Ichigo's sword. That looks so, so gangster. Oh my god. So, so, so clean. Old Chikai element clone. Okay, that's actually really, really good because it was win before and now it's clone. So we've got a rare element rather than just a normal element. And for some reason, we have glitched to keep you guys updated we've also unlocked this move here which is so so good it's a rider move and once we do use it it basically just makes our like combat stats a lot better where like when i used to do eight damage with my sword i was doing 12 with it which is so 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 good so it's like a it's like half 50 percent upgrade of your combat stats, which is really really nice also i'll be doing these quests from yurahara level up once one of your five stats by using a job board or other means so we just do these basically and every time we do them we upgrade our stats which is really really good all right guys so okay we've got some increased stat five times so the way i usually do this is i speak to this guy here how uh, sure and then i can tune one of my stats and which stat am i gonna tune i'm gonna think i might i'm gonna do my agility i think okay agility and there we go and then after that we get some new new things and then i'm gonna slay and a juja is there any of them here nope there isn't so i just cancelled the job and this is what i literally did to get to level 37 now we've got to kill some hollows there's so many over there but it's just way too fast so i'm just gonna kill the people around this area like this boom hit them with this move here and then hit them with this do this and just like that they're basically just already dead all right two more just need to kill one of these guys here and never mind, I I got the attention of all of them by mistake. And let me see how much. Okay, we've got 64. We're so close to finishing our agility. And I think... How much strength does it give us? Okay, it gave us 3 of the strength. That's perfect. And... Alright, we just need to max out our agility and our combat stats by just doing these missions. But, and then... After that, we can limit break. And then once we limit break, we go on to B rank. And then after that, we just keep on basically limit breaking and getting better ranks basically and every single time we just go to talk to this guy here and he's just gonna keep on giving us quests all right guys we've grinded enough now that we're level 61 which means we can limit break to b rank which is very 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 good so we're just gonna press here take off our weapon and press b and there we go with limit broke just like that that was pretty pretty easy and if you're wondering what am i doing i actually stopped doing those invasion missions because i found out doing these quest board missions gives you so much more xp in my opinion i can level up a lot faster doing these story board missions so the ones that i've been doing mostly is killing 15 hollows and also which one is it killing the ajuja but yeah that's literally the only things i've been doing king of menos is also a very very good way to get uh xp but it's just the fact that i just keep on getting destroyed by them i have to i die like two three times to kill them so we're not going to be doing the menace ones we're just doing the killing 15 hollows and also where is it okay there's none of the juju ones here so we're just going to kill the 15 hollows 
And to be honest, I do like basically one shot the hollows. I just like one M1 combo finishes the hollows up, which is very, very, very nice. So if I just go at this and then use this, boom, there we go. And okay, we just hit them with one, two, three, hit them with this, one, two, three. Three, there we go. They already dead. It's super, super easy killing these hollows. And every time I found out doing this mission, I get like three levels, which is perfect because we do need to get to level 85 to even obtain a Bankai. Bro, I'm getting jumped by three of these guys. Yo, relax. Oh my god. And now just this should kill at least one of them and it's killed both of them. That's literally, bro. It's so much more fun playing this game when you're actually strong because you can just like solo and basically one tap those guys. Bro, but they do so much I, mean, I was gonna say they do so much damage but they don't okay i'm just gonna hit with this and then hit with this boom boom there we go and as you can see there we were like level 62 and now we're level 64 that got us two levels uh, and we got a skill new skill available okay counter strike scatter image a move that can be used while stunned you will but to be honest we have this one here too so we're just gonna get this one here maxed we've maxed out this one and we've maxed out Tensho because with B rank, as you can see there, my counter doesn't go up, doesn't go down from 100%. So anytime I want to use my Shikai, I can just use it instantaneously, instantly straight away. All right, we go to this guy. And also, I think we finished his missions here because there's none of the missions. I want to fight you. I want to get my Retsu up. Okay, so bro, this guy just straight away combos me. But to be honest, we can just, just do some moves. Boom. And then this is that going to hit him? And that's basically already finished that. That was so, so, so quick. Okay. It's blossomed up. It's 79. Okay. That's really, really nice. And we got some new skill available because we do get some XP whilst we're killing him. And okay. Cyclone. We can upgrade that. And that's probably like one of my most used moves. Create a Cyclone Feather. You know what? We're going to use this here. And we nearly, we've max, nearly maxed out all these moves. We maxed out this one here and this one here. We've got these two that we need to max out because we use them a lot. But yeah guys, now I'm just going to be doing like many of this quest board missions until we do get to level 85 and I will see you guys once we have reached that specific level. Alright guys, and once again, we have the ability to limit break again, and I accidentally pressed N, but let me just unpress it. Okay, there we go. Let's go back to the real world. But yeah, I've just, as I said, just been doing those holo missions over and over again. I don't know if that's the best way to level up, but in my opinion, it's the easiest. And there we go. We've limit broke again, and now we can start doing our support stats, combat stats, and everything. Now we're going to have to go and find one of those quest boards and start just doing more missions until we get to level 85 so i'm just gonna keep on doing that i just came back just to say that i'm doing the limit break but yeah i will see you guys once we are level 85 all right guys update on what am i doing basically i'm level 88 now however to obtain bankai you have to be level 85 and also obtain 420 points and the way you can obtain these points is by doing invasions incursions or doing the storm so of course i'm doing invasions here but there's one thing that i don't i'm not certain of if if i'm so if i still get carried because i'm right now i'm getting carried of course because i'm just standing here and someone's doing it but i don't know if i get carried that do i still get the points or do i have to be the person killing the guards but we'll have to find out because this is my like third or fourth invasion and this is the b rank invasion so every single one i do i get 22 points so technically i do this 20 times i get like 450 points and with that we fight our boss but that's the only thing that I'm not certain of is if I'm the person that has to kill them or if just I have to do complete the invasion. So I'm just going to do this like 20, 21, 22 times and see if getting carried gets you the points. And if not, then we're just going to have to result to doing incursions, everything by ourselves. So I will see you guys once I do have that many points so we can finally obtain our Bankai. All right, guys, so we finally have enough Bankai points. And if we go talk to this guy here, we are, can finally basically unlock our Bankai and as I've been told this this boss is like so 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 difficult so let me just get this and okay if I talk to him why don't I let me talk to him ready for what I am ready I have I sense you have enough power so there's two stages to this put away your Shikai first 
Oh, so we, we, we're fighting without our Shikai. What? Okay, yeah, this is going to be difficult. Um, okay. So how does it, there is this to put your blade away? Okay, bro, what's going on? Okay, this you can tell this is my first time by playing this game. Your real Shikai and you'll pa re and then pass this challenge. Okay, so first of all, we've got to get this every single time something happens. And we just got to fight him, basically. we got to kill him. And then we've got to kill another person. Every single time something happens, our weapon breaks. And we have to find another weapon. So we're just going to keep on picking up these ones. Any weapon that we get, we just have to pick it up. But yeah, you can tell, as you can tell, this is kind of difficult. And I am a very big noob in this game. Alright, okay, we're finally getting some damage off. Because I'm just warming up now. But of course, the first time, we're not going to kill him. Because he is kind of strong. Alright, so yeah, he killed us the first time. However, the more that we play, of course, the harder it is for him to kill us. So we just have to press N again. Alright, so we're just going to keep on, like, just trying to kill this guy. And I'll see you guys once we have killed him. Oh my god, finally, finally we did it. Holy, you don't understand how long that took for me to kill this guy. Bro, this is probably the hardest boss I've ever killed in my entire life in any game I've ever played. That was so, so, so difficult. And I think now we've unlocked Bankai. I don't even know why I pressed N here. I'm going to unpress N. And if you're wondering, I actually had to use, I had to go and switch up my element to win because I found it to be a lot easier than clone because I was just getting confused on who to hit and everything. So we changed the element to wind and it was a lot easier. Okay, I don't know why this person here is hitting me, so let me just run away. But wow, you do not understand. It took me so, let me just go to Soul Society. It took me so, so, so long to get this. This is, bro, it took me more than like two, three hours killing this guy. I had like 50, 60 attempts. Like the first part was kind of easy. All I had to do was just basically kill the guy with just swords and it was kind of easy. And then the second part, it just dragged on for so, so, so long. But now if you press B, okay, why is it not? Okay, I think we have to, pre okay, press B. There we go. Okay, I have to press G twice and we have unlocked it. We've got the wind uh, bankai here because there is no Ichigo bankai. To awaken it, you have to press G twice. And I think it's G twice whilst your bar is on 100%. And yeah, actually, we actually look cold right now. We look very, very, very nice. And I don't know why this guy keeps on hitting me a lot. We finally, finally unlocked the bankai. That was so, so difficult. Like, if anyone's wondering, is there any tips and tricks for it? I don't even think there is any tips to, like, kill that guy. It's so, so, so difficult to kill him. Getting a bankai in this game is basically just, like, really... Like, you basically require lots and lots and lots of basically just retries, retries, retries until you get it. But yeah, guys, that has been the video of me going from Soul Reaper to Bankai Ichigo. We did unlock a Bankai in this video. Unfortunately, it wasn't Ichigo's Bankai because Ichigo's Bankai isn't in the game. But yeah, if you do want to see a video once like Ichigo's Bankai comes in the game and you want me to play with it, make sure to like, subscribe and also comment down below what other characters you want me to do in Peroxide. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and peace out guys. Peace out.